want to get up. Get up. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. I hope you find the reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. So, it is Sunday. I'm attempting to do another video. Just a whatever type of vlog. Today we're gonna go buy some honey. Yeah. Uh, but first I have to shower. So let's do that. Shower complete. Now let's get the honey. Alright, Gizmo. Yeah. I can see into your soul. <laughs> Got real honey. This is the real stuff. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Got the goods. Got the goods. Alright. <laughs> I want to get on camera. No. Give me the bottle. <laughs> I don't want to do it though. Honey, we're home. <laughs> so did you come out of the closet? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so Kirk came out of the closet last night. And then he went back in the closet. Then he went, ran across the closet. <laughs> Where's this closet? It's big. Alright, so other than getting the honey, once again, this has been kind of a very unproductive, unmotivated down day, and to be honest with you, I'm actually a little frustrated with myself about being, you know, unmotivated or whatever. Um, I think I get a bit of, an, but a bit of anxiety as well because, you know, I want things to happen sooner than later. I want some big, beautiful, amazing changes that happen now instead of later. And I've been kind of stuck in my head. But I am trying to vlog. I am trying to put something together. So um, it's about 6 p.m. now. So I'm going to see what I can figure out for dinner. And maybe I'll record that. So let's go find out what I'm going to do. I guess the first thing I should do is clear that out. <laughs> it's clean! Yay! But we still got all that to do. <laughs> I know I should, probably shouldn't show you this, but it is what it is. Alright, so we don't have anything really fresh or anything for tonight, but what I'm going to do is try to make a, um, a quick mac cheese. Um, yeah, nothing special. Normally I go and buy a bunch of deli cheese, but I want, I want to save money, so we're going to use the shredded cheese that we have in the fridge that we normally use for tacos. We get some leftover taco, ground, uh, ground beef, turkey meat, uh, turkey burger, and um, the pasta. I'm trying to stay away from breads and stuff, but um, because we don't really have much in the house at the moment, I think this is the way I'm going. So let's get it started. I didn't show you how I made the cheese sauce, but I used this for the cheese. And there's some milk. I mixed almond milk and regular milk. I'm using leftover taco, turkey, turkey taco meat. And I'm going to add a little corn and maybe some tomatoes. And uh, I'll show you when it's done. So this is the end result. And it was tasty. <laughs> I forgot to record before I um, 
put some in the bowl, but people were hungry and wanted to eat, so. Again, it's this leftover taco meat. Ow. Some shredded cheese. Uh, diced tomato, corn, seasonings. And yeah, and I'm about to have seconds. Want some? Here. <laughs> And now I am at work. My favorite place in the world. Yeah. I can't really complain. At least I do have a job and I can pay my bills and I can t do things, you know, do some of the things I want to do. Um, but, yeah, like I was saying yesterday, I'm trying to stay positive, but, and I do, you know, I know the things that I want to happen will happen when they're meant to happen. And, you know, I know the motivation has to come from within. The belief has to come from within. I don't know what my anxiety is about. I don't know. You know, like I said, I think it's just primarily that I want to see things happen sooner than later. You know, I believe that they can happen, but I also have the anxiety of them I guess not not happening. I that might be what it is. I don't I don't know. But I've just felt a little paralyzed and then I look at my mother who's uh, also been struggling herself to just get up and, and do something. She's been sleeping a lot. Um, primarily because once it starts getting dark out she can't go out so she doesn't feel like she can do much when she does want to go out and you know she's limited financially on what she can do and I just have a lot that I want to see happen and I know they will happen as they're meant to but, like, an example is with my husband. You know, especially with everything going on in the country right now. Like, I want to go get a lawyer right now. I want to start the application, the immigration process again right now because I'm afraid of what's going to happen months down the line. The other part of me is trying to stay calm and say, look, you're going to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. You know, you're going to get the lawyer, you're going to get the money up that you need. You know, also, I I want to help my mother get a house. I don't want her to worry about housing. You know, we get subsidized housing. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I want to be... First of all, I want to be happy. You know, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. Not necessarily. I want to be happy with what I have and happy knowing and excited to know what's to come. All the great things that are to come. But if you can see as I'm trying to talk and I don't know if the expression is coming through, you know... I just want, I want all the best for my family. And to anyone that might be struggling one way or another, I pray for them as well, and that they find what they need to get the help that they need, whether it's finances, whether it's, you know, for a loved one, for themselves. You know, when I when I do stop and kind of get into a meditative mode about the things that I want, I do get excited and just deep into that thought. Like, you know how excited I get when I see, you know, a Jeep Wrangler drive by, especially the ones in the colors that I want. You know, today I seen the blue jeep wrangler and i kept going it's my jeep it's my jeep it will be mine yes it will be mine and it does get me excited but then at the same time there's a little bit of resistance or that little bit of fear that's like 
is it going to happen? And then, you know, with me, with the YouTube, I know I've been slacking with YouTube and my T-shirt stuff. I've been slacking on that. And I've, I guess you could say I've been beating myself up about it. You know, because, you know, I know these things take time. But like I said, I want, you know, I want to be in a, I guess financially, I want to be in a better place. I want, I'm, I want to be happy in general, but... I, I can't, I, I, I just feel a little paralyzed at the moment. I want to be successful before I have to look for another job. Because you've heard me say before, I don't want to stay in security. I don't want to stay with this particular company. I don't want a regular 9 to 5, a regular, you know, 40-hour job. I want to do what makes me happy and be creative and make a difference in the world. And, yeah. trying not to get too negative but I'm also trying to be transparent in what I'm talking about I know you've heard it before anyway I'm gonna end it you know I don't want to put out negativity I want to I, I, um, even though I'm in a kind of negative space right now I still have faith in everything working out you know, I know things will work out. Things have worked out in the past. But, um, yeah. Until the next vlog, I want to thank you for watching. If you watched this far, if you feel the same in your life and you relate, you know, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And uh, until the next vlog, like, love, share, and inspire. Much love. Peace.